this is Katie. In today's video, I probably should not have been eating Chex right before I started this video because now it's very, it's very dry right here. <laughs> but in today's video, I wanted to just do a little vlog, hang out with you guys, um, and show you around Charleston. A lot of you guys know I'm in Charleston right now visiting my dad, and I wanted to go downtown today and show you guys a little bit of downtown. It is gorgeous down there, and it is raining a little bit. It's like drizzling right now, but it's supposed to on and off rain for the next few hours. But we're going to do Charleston in the rain. We're just going to do it. I want to show you guys around town and just hang out with you guys for the next few hours and um, chit chat and, you know, just hang out with you guys. And so if you are interested in a little day in the life, hang out with me vlog, I hope that you guys are subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Today, I am going to go downtown. Right now, I'm parked in a TJ Maxx parking lot as per usual, if you've seen any of my videos when I am in the car. A lot of times I'm at TJ Maxx. It's like, it's, you know, it's like a safe space for me, you know? But I do wanna go downtown in a little bit. But before I go downtown, did you notice anything different about my face? So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you have definitely seen me wear these glasses, right? I got these glasses from glassesusa.com about two years ago. And so I am so excited to have the chance to partner with glassesusa.com on today's video. They actually sent me a couple new pairs of glasses, including these. Glassesusa.com is an incredible website, obviously, that you can buy glasses from. I get asked all the time, probably one of my most frequently asked questions about myself, my personal life, is literally where I got these glasses from. So shopping on glassesusa.com, it lets you cut out the middleman and they have over 9,000 different types of glasses on their site. And they do have some in-house brands like Muse. And then they also have some designer brands like Oakley, Ray-Ban, Gucci. They have a ton of different brands and a ton of different styles. And they're super affordable. They're up to 70% off the retail price and their prices start at $30 for even a basic prescription pair. And so the ones that I've been wearing over the last couple of years are the Muse, which is their in-house brand, but Muse uh, collaborated with Hilary Duff a couple of years ago. And so they made these glasses. These are the Gloria in the tortoise shell. I don't know if they sell these anymore, but these are the Gloria in the black, which I just got and I love. They also have, let me switch and show you other ones. These are called the, hold on, I can't even see without my glasses. The Eleanor in the clear gold. Okay, I've been wearing these for the last couple weeks. Look how fancy these are. And it's really easy to shop on glassesusa.com because they have a ton of different like filters. You can pick different colors, different sizes. I have like quite a narrow face and I was able to pick and choose based on the size of glasses. They also have like a quiz where they can suggest glasses to you. And they even have like a try on feature, which I used to pick out some of these glasses. And so this last pair that I got are very, very similar to the ones that I've been wearing, but I wanted to get different tortoise shell ones that are a little bit rounder. And so I got these, which are the Muse Merrill glasses. And I love these. I'm gonna go put the black ones back on because that's like, you know, the mood I'm in. All black, black glasses is the mood I'm in right now. If you wanna go check out Glasses USA, I will have a link in my description. And so I am so grateful to be able to partner with glassesusa.com today um, and just wear some different glasses. I'm very, very excited about that. So for now, let's uh, let's go downtown check out some downtown a little bit. It's not raining right now. So I think that we are at a good time to go downtown and walk around in maybe not rain. I don't mind walking around in the rain, but I don't think my camera would like that. So let's go try to beat the rain and show you guys a little bit of downtown Charleston. Broken up, I feel like I'm in Couldn't take the heat and all the feelings. Always running from what's really good for me. So much more to life that I'm too blind to see Lucky enough to get you in my veins Hoping that I can stay high on this way I need you like I do of getting you back again Lucky enough to get you in my veins Hoping 
hoping I could stay high on this way. Okay, the rain stopped. It's supposed to start up again, I think, soon, but it's very windy. So uh, I'm gonna walk around downtown a little bit, but I might not be talking because the wind with the audio might be too much. So I might just put more music behind that. Um, but what I did just show you while I was driving, um, there was some footage just of driving a little bit downtown. And then also I think I got some footage of Rainbow Row, which is just a row of houses that are all like multicolored and it's really, really pretty. Um, but Charleston, downtown Charleston is so like historically gorgeous. So I just wanna show you a few more buildings, show you the water. So let's go walk around. Is it too windy? Can you hear me? Hi. Okay, so I am on, oh, I don't know what street. Am I on East Bay? Let me look. Yes, I'm on East Bay Street and I am walking south right now. Oh, these houses are beautiful. Let me show you more. That is some of the craziest wind I've experienced in a while. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me talk out there. I probably cut out almost all the audio because it is so windy, but it's 72 degrees. So it's not like a cold, annoying wind. It's just a, I guess still kind of annoying, but it's not cold, <laughs> which is good. Um, but yeah, so there's a little bit of downtown. I am, I think technically at what they would call the battery, which is like the lower part of downtown Charleston. If you're from here, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm looking at a map right now, literally where my car is parked. I am on East Bay uh, near like Trad Street. And yeah, so like the further you go down, it's kind of the battery like on the water um, and it's so pretty. It's just windy and a little hard to show you, but I hope that you were able to see some of the water, some of the houses. The houses are beautiful down here. And one of my favorite, what did I just get distracted by? Absolutely nothing, a leaf moving outside. Sorry, uh, one of my favorite things about Charleston is that no building or house can be taller than the church's steeples. And I think that is so cool. Um, yeah, so if you like history and stuff, Charleston is really a good town for that. If you wanna see any like specific historical stuff, let me know. In this video, I just kinda wanted to show you around a little bit, but if you want anything like specific, let me know. I can do that for a future video, but. Oh, you know what I want to talk to you guys about real quick? Okay, so I have been in therapy. You guys know I've been in therapy on and off for years, probably for like 15 years on and off. Is my hair okay? Yes, okay. And I recently started with a new therapist who I love, and she recommended a book to me called The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk, MD. Um, and I only read the first chapter so far, but if 
you are interested in learning like anything deep about trauma, you know, not just, oh, don't let it bother you. You're fine. Not that. If you want like deep explanation, that car was very loud for no reason. I don't know if you could hear it. Um, if you want like deep explanations about trauma and how it affects your whole entire body and literally changes your brain chemistry, my therapist recommended this. I am reading it right now. Let me know if you have ever read it or if you are going to read it because you want to learn more about trauma, whether you've had trauma or someone you know has had trauma or just if you're curious about the topic because trauma literally changes your like makeup physiologically. And so I'm going to keep reading this. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll update you and let you know how I liked the rest of it, but my therapist did recommend it. And so that's what I'm reading right now. dropped one mm, 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 mm. hold on hold on hold on okay if you guys watched one of my food videos from a few weeks ago you would know that i love the enjoy life chocolate bars you want to know a hack a chocolate hack a snack hack Ooh. Do people have channels about snack hacks? Because that's a real good term. I really like the rhyming. Anyway, a snack hack is the Enjoy Life chocolate bars I love. I always get the rice crunch, milk rice crunch, the rice crunch milk, the, the milk chocolate that has rice in it. So it's a little crunchy, kind of like a crunch bar, but allergy friendly, totally, totally allergy friendly. Those are like $2 each, $3 each. If you just buy the chocolate chips, there's no rice, there's no crunch, but this whole bag is like $5. And I think this whole bag is 10 ounces and one of the chocolate bars is like two ounces. So if you do the math, two ounces for two or three dollars or 10 ounces for five dollars, you can just snack on chocolate chips instead. It's not the same as a candy bar. It does not have the rice crunch in it, but if you just want some chocolate or want some sugar, just get a bag of, uh, of chocolate chips. These are the mini chips. You want to see how many they are? I don't think you're ready for this. Can you even see it? Can you even see that? It's the tiniest thing I've ever seen. You make me feel something different. You are the piece I've been missing all my life. Do you feel the same? I can't sleep. Thinking about you. All I feel. Hey guys, it is a little while later. I drove in some traffic. If you guys live in Charleston um, or you've ever been here for like an extended period of time and you've driven here, can you tell me what you think of the drivers here? Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're very good. I don't think they're very good. I don't know if it's because so many people move here and so there's a lot of different types of drivers who learned to drive in different places and so it's like a lot of differences or if all the drivers are just selfish because it's just mm, driving here is a little rough. Anyway, you guys know I always need something on my lips. I hate when my lips are dry. This is the PYT Beauty little lipstick and lip gloss thing. So I drove around downtown a little bit more and then I drove up, I need to run to Target quick, but I needed to use the restroom so I stopped at a gas station. I think a lot of people ask where I use the restroom when I'm out in public. Also, can you hear the rain yet? It's only drizzling. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm only gonna be a minute. Anyway, people ask me where I use the restroom when I'm living in my car. And right now I'm staying at my dad's, but when you're using the restroom when you live in a car, it is very, very similar to where you'd use the restroom when you're out running errands. And so when I'm on the road or when I'm out running errands, again, very, very similar, I would use the restroom at a gas station, Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods at a mall, at a restaurant that I'm at, a grocery store. There's tons of places to use the restroom during the day. I personally sometimes will just walk in there, use the restroom and leave. Certain other places it might be more polite to purchase something, of course, I understand that. But there are certain places that it just doesn't really um, seem to matter if I just go use their public restrooms. Also some parks and stuff have public restrooms as well. Um, and then at night, it's a little bit more like gas stations or truck stops. And then if there's a 24 hour grocery store or Walmart is where I would use the restroom. But anyway, I know some people think that they're grimy or dangerous or whatever. 
Most of them are not as grimy as you think they are. Sometimes they are, but most of them are not as grimy as you would assume. And then also, no matter where you are and what you're doing, if you act with confidence, things will feel a little less dangerous for you. You know, I think living in my car and traveling by myself and all that kind of stuff, I think that acting with confidence and knowing what you're doing and trusting yourself, but also knowing that you have some safety procedures in your mind, whether that's, you know, that you have a safety protection device or something like that, that can help you feel a little bit more confident. And so if you're just confident, you are more likely to just kind of fit in. And I, for me personally, this is what I do. This is what I do. Um, it just helps me kind of, you know, if I need to use a restroom in the middle of the night at a truck stop, I walk in, use the restroom, walk out, done, you know, and do that with confidence as much as you can. So anyway, I'm about to leave the circle K run to target quick. And then it is 5:45, and I haven't really eaten a proper meal yet today. I've only had snacks. And so I'm going to go back to my dad's house, have a meal. And I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank glassesusa.com again for sponsoring this video. I love their glasses so much and their prescriptions are like really, really spot on. And so if you are in the market for new glasses or even contacts or sunglasses, please go check out the link in my description to glassesusa.com. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed another little vlog hanging out with me today if you do want to see more vlogs let me know in the comments and just any other video ideas that you have that you want to see please let me know in the comments and I hope that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram but yeah again thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day I love you Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later bye